I come out on a regular basis to monitor the um, quality of the lakes, make sure they're all working ec ecologically well. Um, remembering that because this is a residential area, um, any problem with the lake could cause a problem um, for the residents. But I'm also monitoring wildlife. Now the lake behind me, as you will notice um, as we go on, is full of bird life. But a lot of people don't realize there's a lot more to these lakes than the birds and the fish. And one of the little guys that I'm tracking this morning as well, of course, is our otters. Now, South Africa has got two species of otter, the Cape Clawless Otter, the one we have here, and the Spotted Necked Otter, which is found more to the north and to the east. The Cape Clawless Otter is a very shy animal. You won't often see them. They move along the Berg River, they come onto Pearl Valley and onto Val de Vie, and they do that because they're hunting. Now, unlike other otters, they don't eat fish. What they're doing is they're hunting for crabs and frogs. Now, that's a very important part of our lake ecology here. These lakes are clay lined. If the crabs burrow into that clay line, it could cause a leak. So the otters are in fact doing us a favor by taking the crabs out. Of course, they do it seven days a week and they don't charge us anything, which is great. So, <clears throat> Cape Clawless Otter, you won't often see them, but if you're lucky, especially late afternoon, early morning, you might find them crossing a road. If you are on a lake, you might even find them playing in the water. They're not actually playing, they're hunting. But otters are playful, of course, and where I'm standing is actually one of the otters' little playgrounds. They come out of the lake, up this track at my feet. When they come out of the water, they'll actually roll around in the grass and that is to help them dry out. It's also a social time. During the heat of the day, they'll be lying up in thick bushes. And that is why these little wild corners, as I like to call them, obvious data are so important. These are harbors for wildlife. This immediate area is also a territory of a little Cape Greisbok, probably lying up in here listening to me now. The importance of keeping your dog on a leash can't be stressed enough. It's not only for the safety of the dog, but also for the safety of our little antelope, the otters and things like that. Remembering there are some puff adders and cobras around. If your dog encounters one of those, it's probably not all that clued up on how to deal with it. So rather keep the dog safe and on a leash. And that gives our little antelope and what have you, a bit of a more of a stress-free environment. How do I know the otters move here? How do I know that there's a Cape Greisbok here? Well, two ways. One is the tracks, and the other is, of course, I put up camera traps. Camera trap, like this, will take photographs of anything that moves in the area. And having set them here in the past, we've got photographs of otters, of mongoose, of little, uh, the little Kreisbok here, which is quite fantastic seeing we're right on the edge of the busiest road on Bear Creek Boulevard. The otters, as I said, come out of the water. They'll hold here for a while. They're watching, they're listening, and then they'll trace through to the next lake, which is just over the road. They then follow the creek up and into the lodge lakes. So my tracking them Knowing their movements gives me a very good insight into what is happening in the lakes. As I said, we're monitoring the health of the lakes, not only by what is happening around them, but also what is happening in them. So I'm setting up the camera trap again. I'll have it out for a week and we'll see what we can pick up. I'll also be following the pathways, see, when, see where the otters were last here. And so I'm building up this mental picture of animal movements.